A man suspected of raping a woman in Williamsburg sits behind bars tonight. City police officers say that assault happened in the middle of the night behind a stretch of businesses on Scotland Street. We want to warn you, warn you some of the details are disturbing in the story. As Angelique Karen talked, combed through court documents and found out what kind of scene investigators responded to. 41-year-old Orlando Rodriguez Rivera faces a charge of rape through the use of the victim's mental incapacity or physical helplessness. A Williamsburg police spokesperson tells me alcohol played a factor in filing that specific criminal charge. The victim, described by police as a 36-year-old woman, gave her account to investigators. Williamsburg police officers say they responded to Scotland Street because of an assault just before 2 a.m. on Sunday. The area sits across from the campus of William and Mary. When officers got there, documents say they found a woman covered in blood and blood on the ground in a back alley. The criminal complaint details the woman tearfully recalling a man she was with named Orlando asking her for oral sex. According to the court docs, she said she tried to do it but then fell over and couldn't. The victim then told investigators Rodriguez Rivera had intercourse with her she didn't consent to and didn't want. According to police investigators, the two were inside Brick House Tavern on Scotland Street before the incident. A restaurant employee tells me off camera the pair shared a meal inside. Staff members didn't know them. The employee also says they didn't know what happened until after the fact. They're helping police by letting detectives look at security camera footage. Medics took the woman to the hospital. Records say the victim gave gave officers the suspect's contact information. They later identified Rodriguez Rivera as the suspect. Law enforcement arrested him at his home in York County at around 8 a.m. on that same day, Sunday. In Williamsburg, Angelique Aaron Talk, 13 News Now. That suspect is at the Virginia Peninsula Regional Jail without bail. He has a court hearing scheduled for March. Williamsburg police are asking anyone with information about what happened to give them a call. You can also dial one triple eight lock you up or use the P3 tips app online.